Hello, 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 and welcome to this week's project video. Uh, this week you learned about uh, doing layout in CSS using Flexbox and a couple other tools, but mostly Flexbox. And now you're going to practice that by making your own web page that is for a business. Now that business can be fake. Uh, in fact, it's you know probably going to be fake. Uh, you can make one for a real one, or or an imaginary one, or one that you hope to own one day. Really, really anything. Um, it's all it's all up to you. Um, and the requirement is that you use ten flexbox properties. Um, the thing that's different this week is that the properties don't have to be unique. So if you put display flex on two different divs, then that counts as two. So um, don't feel like you need to come up with 10 very unique flex properties. You can reuse them if, if you want to. Um, okay, so in this video, I'm just gonna kind of dive in and work through um, the project as if I were you. Uh, and so hopefully that'll give you an idea of, of how to get started yourself. So I've provided a like example starter code here, and that shows sort of a very rudimentary um, website here. And you can feel free to take that and run with it. But I think I might challenge myself to sort of start from scratch. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but to start out, I'm gonna go to Replit and I'm going to create a new project and uh, it's gonna be an HTML, CSS, JS project. And uh, the business I'm trying to come up with is, I think maybe I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna pretend that I have a, a pumpkin carving business. So I'm gonna call it like pumpkin carving and I'm going to create it. Okay, so that is done, looks like, and I, I, I never really like the, the Replit starter code, so I'm going to get rid of some of this. Uh, we only really want the style. Um, I, really, this is the stuff I want to get rid of. So I want to get rid of whatever's in the body just to start kind of from scratch. And here I'll say, hello world. And this stuff is fine. I, I, I wish that I had a better way to show the code without it uh, taking up my entire screen, but my resolution is really tiny just so you can see it a little better in the video. Um, some of these are helpful if you're making a real web page, but they don't really matter for us. So you know what, I'm just going to get rid of them actually. Um, okay, so the only stuff I have in my code is a head section, which then contains a title and then a link to our style.css file and then a body section which just contains hello world i can run that and there i see hello world i can change this maybe to like kevin's uh, pumpkin carving and this will only show up if i um, pop this out into its own uh, window so i might do that and there you go you see in the title up here kevin's pumpkin carving i could maybe throw an emoji up there or something but eh, that's good enough for now so from here, what I want to do is kind of flesh out the, the body of my web page. So um, I want to think about what I want to put up there. And so my fake business is going to be like a pumpkin carving business. Um, so I can maybe think about like what I would have is like maybe a nav at the top, which is like, you know, a home page, maybe images of, of previous projects I've done, maybe like a contact page, something like that. Um, and then maybe like a like a content section and then maybe a footer. So maybe I'll start with like a div that's a container. So div class equals container. And what will this contain? This will contain three other divs probably. Uh, a few ways that I could do this, but let me maybe have like div class equals header. And I'll just close that out for now and maybe I'll have just three, three divs. And one, two, three. So uh, header, and what do I wanna call this? Like content maybe, and then footer. And I can have maybe some content in each header, content and footer. Um, okay, that was kind of a lot to type, but let's just double check that this is, is working how I want it to. Let's save that and run it. And okay, I've got header, content, content. That's because I typed content twice. Whoops, I meant to type footer here. 
and okay header content footer so now i could flesh these out i could maybe start putting stuff inside my header inside my content um let's start with the header maybe so what i want to do is give myself some white space first of all and maybe i'll have like a ul um a couple ways i could do this maybe i'll just stick with um anchor tags so href equals and this is going to be for index.html maybe this will be like the home page link and uh, maybe I'll just start with like three links just for fun and maybe I'll flesh this out in a second so I have home maybe I'll have like an about and maybe like images it's kind of up to me but that's what I'm gonna try to go for uh, home about images okay so now I've got three um, links in my in my header here and you know it's maybe okay but they are sort of scrunched up together and the the default styling is kind of gross so this is where I can start to get into some of the layout stuff that we talked about so um, I have this class header so let me go to style uh, CSS and I'll add a header um, selector here and then I will add a flexbox property. First of all, display flex, and let's just see what that does. So by default, it, it kind of smushed them together, and I think now I want to um, space them out a little bit more. So um, if I don't remember how to do that, and just to be honest with you, I don't remember how to do that. I think it's like something about justification of items. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, maybe just type in CSS flexbox and I think that complete guide is going to be one of the first examples just because it's, it's so handy um, and I want to check this out and flex direction is okay because it's I want it to be horizontal flex wrap is not what I'm looking for maybe I'll come back to this when I get to my images uh, flex flow and uh, nah okay justify content looks like what I want so maybe I want justify content um, maybe space between justify content space between let's try that justify content space between and i'll save that and run and okay you know you can kind of you know it's kind of up to you maybe space around would be better space around just so that they're not like right up against everything and mm, kind of uh, personal preference but for now I think that's going to work and now I already have two of my required 10 uh, flex properties okay so next maybe what I want to do is what maybe I'll flesh out that content section a little bit um, and I mean I'll delete this and I'm not going to use this okay <laughs> um, so I've got my content do I care about a left nav um, maybe i mean that'll get me a couple more uh, properties but i kind of want to play with the idea of different um, files first so i could do that um, maybe i'll just put some stuff in here so like welcome to my pumpkin carving business whoops i need a space and will this auto format yeah uh, sort of <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll hit enter to automatically format that. Mm, no, it needs wrong in me. Do I have to do the new lines myself? Yeah, okay. Whatever, good enough. Um, and okay, it's it's okay, but I could maybe use some more like margin. Um, so if I didn't remember how to do that, I could be like CSS spacing between elements maybe. Um, because what I want to do is add some space between like my top header nav and my my middle content nav and I could read more about you know there's tons of resources out there but I happen to know ahead of time that what I'm looking for is a margin so here's like margin left for example uh, I might just use an all-around margin so where do I want that on maybe the content so on my dot content dot content i'll have like a margin and i'll start with like 10 pixels and i'll run that um, i'm playing with the margin just because i want it to look kind of nice but uh, one thing to note is that margin is not a flexbox property margin is just a you know a separate pre-existing property um, so that that doesn't count as one of my 10. Um, 
but okay, I've got my content and then maybe a footer. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that footer is not sparking too much joy. Maybe I might just get rid of that, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, maybe this is, a, this is a reasonable start for my home page. And next, what do I want? Uh, maybe I'll just jump over to the images um, page because that's going to let me do a couple of interesting things. Okay, so I've got my home page, and my home page links to a few things. Right now, those links are broken, so uh, let me see what happens if I click this. We'll just break over there. Yeah, it does. Um, can I go back here? Uh, no. How do I go back? <laughs> you can't. That's funny. Um, back. Yeah, there it is. Um, so these links are broken. Uh, it's okay. I'm not going to deduct any points for broken links because this is just, you know, we're just playing around and, and getting something to work. But if I wanted to you know, give myself the opportunity to play around with other layouts and other things, then maybe having multiple pages would be handy. So I'm going to try to uh, model that a little bit here. So I'm going to click one of these buttons, add a file, and I'm going to call it images.html. I can name it anything I want, but I happened to name it images.html down here, so that's what I'm going to name it here. And images.html is right now just an empty file. And so... Um, I want to put some stuff in there. Uh, first of all, I can say like, these are images and I can save that. And over here, this is just going to be index.html. This is index.html is like the default page. And so if I click home, it'll just go to the same thing. Now, if I go to images, it'll go to the images.html file. You can kind of see, actually you can't see it up there. Um, it's kind of annoying. Uh, but anyway, you can uh, you can see the images.html uh, file by clicking over there. If I run this again, does it just go back to index? Yeah, it does. Um, but if you pop it open in, in, its, in its own uh, tab, if I refresh up here, um, so now you can kind of see that what this looks like in, uh, in a bigger uh, browser window. And now if I go to images, now you can sort of see the full URL and you can see these are images over here and maybe it's an easier way to sort of work with uh, a specific file. So, okay, I want to go back to my index.html file, maybe just to steal some of the code, honestly. So I'm going to go back to images.html and I want to paste that in here. And a lot of this can stay the same. So my header can probably stay the same and my content is going to be different. So here I'm going to say... Um, I don't know, maybe I'll have an h1 tag that's like images, and I'll save that, and I'll jump over to my other tab and just refresh. So, okay, I've got my nav up here, home about images, and I can go back home, and that's still going to be the same. If I go back to images, now this is my images page, and what I want to do is create, I don't know, like maybe some thumbnails of images, um, something like that, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so, so far, I just have HTML files and a CSS file. Uh, ahead of time, sort of, I prepared a couple images. So I downloaded a few images from uh, past, like, Halloween. So I have a bunch of uh, sort of jack-o'-lantern images to, to work with. So let me upload those. So can I upload a file? And can I upload a bunch at a time? It looks like I can. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like it does. Okay, cool. So that's uploading a bunch of images. Can I click on one? Does this work? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Um, so I've got a few images that I can that I can work with, and so I'm going to try to put them in my um, inside my images.html uh, uh, file. Okay. So what I want to do first is maybe I'll give myself a div, and maybe I'll call it like div class equals. Uh, like image container, something like that. And I'll close my div here. And now I just want to put a bunch of images in here. Oh, that's annoying, it keeps doing that. Uh, can I just close some of this out? Yeah, sure. Um, actually, I'm going to reset the, uh, the layout because I think I messed something up. All right, there we go. Now we're back to normal. And let me go back to images.html. OK, so now I've got my image container. So far, it's empty. So if I save this and I go back over here, you know, nothing has changed because it's just empty. But let me maybe start by just creating one image file. So if I go uh, inside my div and I'll say like image source equals and then uh, inside the source, I want to use one of these um, one of these 
file names. So maybe I'll start with uh, the Eaton one. That's kind of one I just recently take, uh, took. It's kind of gross looking, but uh, I kind of like it. Uh, so now I have an image file inside of my image container. So I can either click over here to go to images and there you see it. And I can refresh over here and uh, there it is. Uh, this is a pumpkin from a couple weeks ago. The squirrels got into it and they kind of ate uh, some holes into my pumpkin. And I said, hey, that looks kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a candle in there. Uh, anyway, so there's obviously one huge problem here and that's the size of my image. There's a few ways I could do that. I could straight up resize the images ahead of time so that they're tiny and in a real project, that's probably what you would wanna do. But just for this, I think I'm gonna just use CSS to, uh, to make it a little smaller. So I wanna go back to my style.css directory or uh, 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 file, and I want to maybe select stuff that's in the image container and is an image, okay? And maybe I'll just give them all like a width of, I don't know, 200 pixels maybe. And I'll save that and then I'll go back to images. And okay, now it's quite a bit smaller. It's 200 pixels wide and that'll apply to every image that I put inside that image container. So from here, I can go to my uh, file here and I'll just add a bunch. I think I'll try to add one. How many do I have? One, two three, four, five, six. I have six total, so that's three, four, five, six. And what did I call it? I called it bat eaten is already one of them. Uh, inside the pumpkin, oh, it's gonna be annoying. Dot JPEG, dot JPEG, dot JPEG, dot JPEG. Um, and I have to be careful about how I click because it selects the whole thing squirrel.jpg, stars.jpg, and tree.jpg. So you can use whatever image file names you want. Uh, that's what I've called them just because that's kind of what's in them. Uh, so let me save that and then I can go to images and I can refresh and okay. So you see that kind of depending on the flow of the page, it's either shown in like, you know, uh, this like vertical, um, flow or this horizontal flow, but I wanna use Flexbox to maybe have a little bit more control over that. So I have my image container and I wanna make that a flex container. So let me go uh, back to style.css and I'll say dot image container uh, display flex. And so that is a flex um, property, width is not. So now I'm at one, two, three flex properties. Okay, so that's a start. Let me go back over here and refresh, see what this looks like. And okay, now they're all kind of smushed up against each other. And so what I wanna do is maybe look at like how to do some wrapping. Um, so I think I saw that earlier where it's here, flex wrap. It looks like it's just called flex wrap wrap. Okay, let's try that. Uh, flex wrap wrap and save that and see what happens. And that didn't wrap yet. Why not? Is that just because my my uh, window was so wide that it didn't need to? Yeah. Okay. Um, so okay. Now my image my my images are wrapping when I when I kind of resize the um, the window. Um, I kind of wonder what happens if I get rid of this width now. Can I get rid of you? What what do you look like? So if I refresh. Uh, okay. So no, I do I do need that two hundred. Uh, good to know. <laughs> um, okay, so where am I? I want to just see what this looks, this looks like now. Okay, so I've got my images and they're kind of smushed together and uh, the height is a little goofy as well. So there's a few things I wanna play with. Uh, first off, what? Uh, I wanna add some space between them. So I wonder if that justify content um, property is going to come in handy again. So I'm going to say like justify content, maybe space between. And justify content space between. Let's see what this does. And save that. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to run. And okay, that's a little better. And now if I change my height, it looks like it kind of, well, that's kind of goofy. It, uh, it wraps it down and then puts the space between them. So you know, maybe that's fine. I don't know. I don't know how I feel, um, but it kind of doesn't matter. 
<laughs> honestly. Uh, okay, so one of the things I want to play with is like, how do I get them to not be like just kind of filling up the, the height like that? So I want to go back here and kind of look at some of the properties I have and see if see if some of this looks um, promising. So align self looks like that's on a child element because that's over here in the right column of this page. So align self looks like it might be promising. Uh, flex start. What's the default? Mm. Not sure. Let's maybe just try something. So align self. Let's. Uh, here's another like tip that I can throw your way. Uh, so instead of going back and forth and uh, having to switch tabs a bunch of times, maybe I'll just use my. Um, my developer tools here by right clicking and then clicking inspect and now I can play with this stuff kind of directly in my browser so that can be a little bit uh, handier so what did I want I wanted this to be on the image and I wanted to play with which one was it align self does this do anything align self and then I can play with the other values and oh yeah it does oh cool 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 look at that okay so looks like auto is kind of stretching them their their heights so that they all fill up the same height uh, but I don't want that I want it to be like I like center I think that looks pretty cool um, yeah like let's go with center so stretch I, I hate uh, let's go with center so align self center on the image so I'm gonna go to here align self center and I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna refresh and Cool. Okay, so now I have a row of images, and when I wrap the when I when it gets too small, then it wraps to the next line, and they're kind of different heights. And yeah, I think I'm into that. That's pretty cool. And let's see how many um, how many properties do I have so far? So I have. Uh, one, two, margin is not one of them, so that doesn't count. Uh, three, four, five, and now six. Okay, so I've got six properties, and that's a good start. And uh, from here, you know, you can keep playing around. Maybe the next thing I do is, you know, add, um, you know, this about page maybe where it's maybe it's multiple paragraphs and maybe I want the paragraphs to show up in a certain way uh, and I can use Flexbox. But uh, I'm having a little too much fun with this. So I think this video has already gone a little too long, uh, to be honest with you. So I think I want to stop there. Um, this was how I would get started. And I started from scratch. You can feel free to use the starter code if, if that's helpful. Um, but... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of up to you. Um, so what I did was I started with an index.html file. And I, first of all, I thought about what business I wanted. And it's relatively close to Halloween. So uh, I am thinking about pumpkin carving. So that's what I went with. But you can do whatever you want. And then I thought about what should my home page look like. And I started to break it down into like separate divs. So I have my outermost container div. And that contains a header and some content. And then my header itself contains uh, three uh, links, which I, I use Flexbox to, to position, uh, to lay out. And then I jumped over to creating an images.html uh, file just so that I could try some other layouts. Um, in this case, I made like a, a grid of, of images uh, out, of, out of my uh, beautiful uh, pumpkin pictures. <laughs> um, and from there, I, I sort of thought about what behaviors I wanted. And I looked at this page quite a bit and honestly just tried stuff out. And if it worked, cool. If it didn't, then I just tried something else. Um, so that's the kind of flow that I recommend uh, working through as you, as you sort of get into it. Um, okay, but I'm going to stop there and I will uh, leave you to it. And I'll say uh, what I'm looking for is a total of 10 Flexbox properties, and if you're not sure like whether a property is Flexbox or not, you can just hit me up and let me know, and I, I will, I'll you know point out which ones are and which ones aren't. But stuff like display flex, justify content, really anything on this page uh, or on the original like uh, tutorial that I sent out here, um, you know any of these are going to be Flexbox properties. Um, other stuff that's 
more general stuff like font colors and like italicizing and bolding and like margins and stuff those are not flex properties so those don't count but i'm looking for 10 of those i ended up here with one two three four five six but i'm looking for 10 so uh feel free to get creative come up with your own business and uh play around with flexbox and and layout to to create your own your own business web page uh okay cool uh can't wait to see what you come up with and um i will see you in class